Hi there, I'm Emily of Authentically Emmy. I have a plus size fashion and lifestyle blog that I've had now for 10 years. <laughs> I'm coming to you today with a holiday home tour. For the past 12 years, ever since my mom died, I have been collecting Christmas decoration, tinsel, all the things in order to trim the trees and the house. She loved, loved, loved Christmas and loved Christmas trees. And I kind of have just taken that as my little bit of memorial to her, but also as a ode to my love of glitter and everything sparkle. <laughs> so this year I have five Christmas trees. I am going to show them all to you. I love them all for different reasons and I hope that you enjoy. We're starting here in the foyer. This is a 10 foot tree from at home. I got a few years ago. There's no real theme to this other than a color story of purple, burgundies, and golds. The tree skirt is actually a table overlay from my wedding. So it's just a fun way to get some sequins in there. The ornaments come from a combination of places like Balsam Hill, Z Gallery, and At Home. The ribbon is also from At Home. I picked it up this year. You'll notice here my reindeer, they're glittered. They have a faux fur collar. I call them my fancies. It's a nickname I've had now for about four years for any kind of glittered reindeer in my house. Not sure where I came up with it, but it has stuck. People ask me about my fancies every year. They are always around different places in my house hiding, so it's just really fun. The long needle pine garland and cluster lights are from a Lexington store called House by JSD. They also ship online. Some of my favorite Christmas stuff over the years has come from there. Now we're heading into my formal living room and I have some leopard print chairs in here. It's a very kind of fun Hollywood Regency sort of glamour to this room and I wanted to add some fun and that is by way of this animal print Christmas tree. It's a new addition for this year. I am so thrilled with how it turned out. The ribbons are from Amazon of all places, as are several of the ornaments. They're Kurt Adler ornaments that I found on Amazon. Some of the filler ornaments are from at home, as well as just places that I've collected over the years. The feather picks are from a few years ago, I used them in a different application, and I thought that would be fun to add a little bit of texture into this glittered tree. I purchased the tree on clearance after Christmas last year at Home Depot. I typically like to buy all of my Christmas stuff after Christmas, the year prior to when I want to use it. It's a great way to add to your collection and get everything on sale. Here in the dining room, I have used a 10 year old door swag as my centerpiece. I fluffed it up, added some ornaments, and then I added these mercury glass pillar candles from Home Goods that I found this year. The candle holders are going to be great to use in different applications throughout the year, so I thought this was a great way to add some height and variety to that really old swag as a centerpiece. As we swing around again back to the foyer, we will then head into my office. I work from home, I sit in this space all the time, so why not add a little tree? This is a, I believe a seven foot tall tinsel tree I got from Target several years ago. It's just all about the fun colors and the glitter. You'll see I have some more fancies, as well as Ho Ho Ho's. My last name is Ho, so it's really fun to play on that for Christmas. There's also some ornaments that I hand painted in here this year at an ornament painting party. So that was really fun to include those and to have them on a tree that I sit in front of every single day. Heading into the kitchen, this tea towel is something that a friend gave me last year and I just think it's hilarious. 
this wreath is a, it was a fresh eucalyptus wreath from our house, as well as these pine cones and ornaments. They're also from our house. It is dried out beautifully. And I just think it's a really nice addition to my pantry door. This little pom-pom garland is from Target about eight years ago. I don't really have a place to use it, but I thought I could put up some of my Christmas cards that I receive and add them to something that I can look at in the kitchen. This centerpiece I actually whipped up from an old wreath and an old lantern that I had in my bookcase. So it's just a quick way to add a little bit of fun to the kitchen table. And then in here we have got the major tree. It is a 12 foot magnolia themed tree. My mom was from the deep south. Magnolias remind me of her. And again, she loved Christmas. And as a little tribute to her, this is a ridiculously adorned, very glittery magnolia themed tree. You'll see in here a combination of ornaments. There are a lot of floral stems. The, the big, large, glittered uh, magnolias are from Z Gallery. A lot of the crystal balls you see are from Z Gallery. You'll see gold and green magnolia leaf stems from House by JSD. There's ribbon rolling throughout. I've also added some long needle pine stems and some cedar stems for extra texture. And those are also from House by JSD. These are my two original fancies. They started it all. <laughs> this garland is the same long needle pine garland that I use up my staircases. I've added some really inexpensive berry picks from at home. And the stockings, I believe, were from Pottery Barn a few years ago. We're heading upstairs now, and here's another view of that 12 foot ridiculous tree. It is the biggest beast to put up, but it is the most beautiful thing I think to look at. This is our upstairs loft, which is where we watch TV. And this is where the fifth and final tree is. It is our kind of family Christmas tree. These are the ornaments that you collect over the years that you put up and you have memories of. They come from a combination of things. They're friends, uh, gifts from friends. They're things we've collected over our travels. Um, they're just really fun, fun ornaments. And of all the fancy trees that I have in my house, I think this is actually just my favorite. It's the one that really means something. Um, a lot of the ornaments have stories behind them and I love just having them up. This year I also picked up some of these really amazing glittery mermaids holding cocktails. Those are from a store here in Louisville called Red Tree. There's a little bit of bourbon in there from also from Red Tree. So it's just a really fun tree and I just, of all of the ones, it's the least fancy but it's my favorite. And that's all we have. We have five Christmas trees and a few decorations. Trees really are my thing versus putting decorations all over the house. I don't decorate for any other holidays, so I kind of just blow it out at Christmas. I hope that you enjoyed this holiday home tour. I don't do videos very often, so I'm happy to try to bring you something this year to show you a little bit more behind these trees. If you want any more information, I have a lot more pictures and some links and more detail at my blog, AuthenticallyEmmy.com. I'm wishing you and your entire family and loved ones a very, very happy holidays, and I'll see you again in 2020.